Okay, so I sat step for Cambridge. Um, it was in my offer to get a 1-1 in step 2 and 3, which I was told in January, and I had to sit step in June. Um, so that was sort of uh, six months of preparing for step quite uh, rigorously. Um, I spent quite a lot of time on step, uh, as a lot of people tend to do, um, sort of divert sort of uh, as much attention to step as you do to an A-level, I guess. Um, but what, you, what comes with step practice um, that you sort of don't uh, realise whilst you're doing the practice is that it really, really helps when you come to do university maths because the type of problems you're solving in step, the long 20 mark questions, which are really involved, involve a really a strong depth of understanding, that's the exact kind of technique, that kind of problem solving technique you're going to be using at maths at university. So the way I prepared for step was I, um, I first started like doing a few questions on papers, um, as much as I could and trying to time myself as time went on and in a few months I'd end up doing actual full pass papers, sit down for three hours and do a pass paper and I kept a schedule of that running up to my exams and that worked quite well for me. So I had a slightly easier time for admission tests, I just did the MAT uh, which for me involved, I knew that the multiple choice was 40% of the paper so I, actually, I put a lot of my efforts into making sure I was very comfortable with answering those questions quickly um, and so I went through the papers from 2007 to 2015. Um, going upwards, I found that they got harder, but also that I got better as, as I progressed. Uh, and I found throughout that actually the, the longer answer questions were quite a bit harder than the multiple choice. So I wanted to make sure that I would get those 40 marks for the multiple choice and then could concentrate on trying to pick up marks here and there on the remaining questions. I also did the math, yeah. I didn't. Uh put in as much practice for the mat as I did for step, but I did I sat for the mat for Imperial. I also found that it was really useful to look at the multiple choice um, questions and uh, practice as much as bad as possible.